I've got just a little bit of time left in the day here. I'm going to open up a hive or two uh, to check them out. The, the bees uh, create so much warmth uh, through, all through the winter that it actually creates a condensation, a constant condensation that it goes up to the ceiling of the hive and then it uh, uh, rains down upon them, <coughs> uh, which is not, as you can imagine, good for the bees. And so it rains down upon them. I'm trying to figure out a way to uh, mitigate that. I'll show you here uh, shortly. And what I've done is I've made quilting boxes, which uh, basically is wood chips, cedar chips on top of uh, burlap. And there you see now, I've got vents right here. I also put some wood here, which means that I have more uh, venting around the sides right here. And right here is all wet. I've had this on for three or four days. You can see it's wet right here where it comes through the vent right here and in the back also another vent there uh, there's also uh, water there's actually water here it's actually wet and here this is all wet normally that would be raining down upon them but now it's being caught uh, by the, uh, the, the, the wood chips there I want to show you something here and I have a uh, little ports that I made on this particular hive you can actually see there's a there's quite a few bees in there even if you have quite a few bees, they normally are not close to the window so much. So the fact that they're even close to the window tells me that there's even more bees in there. This actually has, uh, instead of just putting uh, burlap on the, the screen box down here, because this, this box has screen on the bottom, uh, the hive starts right here. And this is a separate box. This is the quilting box here. And you can see in here, see how this this is not just from... Today, this is a blackness from the from the water, which tells me that it might not be a bad idea to treat the insides of these. Of course, it's a little late in the year right now. Got the this eighth inch sticks here and here. That gives me ventilation around here as well as ventilation on the sides. So that water will come up to the top. At least this one's not soaking wet. It is a bit damp, but it's not soaking wet. But uh, the water would rain down from here on the bees. Now it rains down on top of this bedding of uh, cedar. And we'll see what's happening on this one. Basically the same thing. This one here. Three, four, see how black that is? I scraped uh, some comb off of there. But it's not real damp now. It's not really damp because uh, a few days ago it was. Same thing, We've got the sticks here, that gives us the ventilation on the sides of an eighth inch and ventilation on the side of the quilting box. Now I, I had to make this this summer. I needed to make a new top, I, didn't, I was short a top so I made one. This is, this is uh, some wood with fiberglass top, so the others have metal, that's an easy way to do it. It's a good way to do it. See that is really, really wet. This is the wettest of all of them, which definitely concerns me. This is quite wet right here, and wet right here. But the water's not falling down on top of the, the bees, so that's, that's a good thing. It can't, because of the wood chips, and then the wood chips is the, uh, the burlap. Get a shot of some bees there. there. There's a few. I've got the little restrictor boards in there, so they, they can't... Uh, Critters can't get in that way. It's about it till next spring and then we'll we'll see how well this does.